Welcome to Beardy, Bruce Lee Central. Hey everybody, it's Beardy here. What's going on, guys? Okay, so if you look at Bruce Lee's movies from the 60s and 70s, he always had a great physique, right? But when he took off his t-shirt on the first day of filming Enter the Dragon, he shocked everyone, including Jim Kelly and John Saxton. And they actually walked up to Bruce Lee and they touched his muscles. <laughs> yes, that's right, guys. And famously, Jim Kelly said, Bruce Lee, your body is made of steel. So what happened? How did Bruce Lee become so ripped and so jacked for Enter the Dragon? Well, we have to go back in time a bit to the time where he signed the contract for the movie Enter the Dragon. So Bruce Lee knew that this was going to be his masterpiece. This was going to be something special. He was going to put everything into this movie. This was his ticket to Hollywood and this was his ticket to worldwide fame. This movie was going to be released to the entire world. Not only Hong Kong, not only the US, but the entire world. So Bruce Lee knew all of this and he wanted to do something special for the movie. He wanted to show the audience something they have never seen before. So he started on this journey to become a professional bodybuilder of all things. That's right, guys. He actually contacted professional bodybuilders of his time. All of the guys all around the country, he traveled all around the country and he got knowledge and information from all of them. What they ate, what kind of weight training they did, what kind of cardiovascular training they did, everything, everything. He wrote it down. He almost wrote down an entire book on the subject and he went to work, guys. We're talking 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 hours a day, every day. And I've said this before, and people have doubted me, but guys, this is the truth. He did literally do 10 to 14 hours every day of training. That's no joke, guys. I'm being really serious here, okay? 10 to 14 hours every day. That's including Jeet Kune Do training, okay? So he did 2-3 hours of Jeet Kune Do development every day and Kung Fu training. And then he did calisthenics and weight training and all of that good stuff. Every single day. And he had the diet of a professional bodybuilder. So essentially, Bruce Lee turned himself into a professional bodybuilder. So he was this dream combination of a master kung fu artist and a professional bodybuilder. Uh, I, I don't think we've ever seen that combination before Bruce Lee or after Bruce Lee. It's a real special combination because not only was Bruce Lee a master of the martial arts, he looked like he was a professional bodybuilder. His body was so jacked and so ripped. Just look at that body. Just look at that body. I mean, we've never seen anything like this before. And that transformation was complete in 1973 before they started making Enter the Dragon. And we all know what happened after he made Enter the Dragon. He sadly passed away, of course. But what would have happened if he was still alive? The movies he would have made, you know, like I said, this was his ticket to Hollywood and to the rest of the world. He gained worldwide fame after Enter the Dragon was released. But unfortunately, he never got to see that fame, you know. So, yeah, uh, there you go, guys. Bruce Lee was a combination of a Kung Fu master, of a Jeet Kune Do master, and a professional bodybuilder. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Bye.